uh, we now have uh, Dr. Mitra Mukherjee Parikh who will read a Tagore poem as a tribute to Lothikati. Dr. Parikh is Associate Professor and Head, Department of English and Director, Center for Canadian Studies at SNDT Women's University, Mumbai. Thank you. It's an honor, really. Well, uh, unlike many of you, I was not fortunate enough to know her, know her intimately. But I was fortunate because I had my intellect, my imagination, and my dream shaped by her. I was a generation which had fewer canons, but few who revolutionized my thinking when I was growing up with her thoughts. And I think Lutika Di, I owe her this tribute. I I'm going to read a poem which is very, very well known. This was written in 1900 by Rabindranath Thakur. And um, 1911, this is a uh, uh, poem which was written uh, at tumultuous time, translated by Rabindranath in around 1911. 1913, it got Part became part of Gitanjali. It was not written in Gitanjali, it was in Noibiddu. It became famous all over the world, and in India, it's the most well known of the poems. If, if uh, that is a song which is most well known, then this is a poem which is known by everybody because it's in all textbooks. In 2011, there's a new version, a new, new translation of the same poem. <coughs> where the mind is without fear. And I thought I would like to share with you this new version, because I feel at this juncture in the nation's history, I think this is what Lothika Di would have liked to have shared with all of you in the public domain. Let me read this poem. <coughs> I'm not re reading the earlier version, because I think everyone knows it. A fearless place where everyone walks tall, free to share knowledge, a land uncrippled, whole, uncramped by any confining wall, where speech wells from the heart, where rippled by millions of varied aspirations, a great river of action surges through an infinity of channels, rushes, and gushes, in fullest spate in all directions to every home and locality. A place where reason's flow is not soaked up by barren desert sands of bigotry, where niggling rules and dogmas do not sap its vigor, but joy in work and thought has mastery. With pitiless blows, Father, from your hand, bring India to that heaven. Wake this land. Thank you.